what's going on guys welcome back to another video today it's just what the title says it is um i'm doing up my garden beds um so as you hear the dog's going crazy last weekly vlog wednesday um i showed y'all how to make some food today i'm going to show y'all how i'm going to do up my garden beds but before we get started uh make sure you drop a like up subscribe we'll walk you through the plan um and hopefully how it goes um so yeah Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and start with the backyard. Here is a fully shaded area, almost shaded all the time. I'm planning on planting some stilbies in here. Um, starting here in a space of about one foot. You'll see exactly what they look like a little bit later on in the video. Uh, as you see, I still got some weeds to get out here. Um, also, you set up my edging, but that's what we're starting here. Some stilbies through here. Um, right here in the corner is gonna be a stone feature. As you see, I got some stones and everything gonna lay along there. And that's gonna be fully stone with some pots, maybe a little statue. Down through here, basically just where my finger is, coming all the way down. Just a skinny bed all the way down. I'm gonna do some big green giants. Big green giant, smaller one, big, smaller one, all the way through. That's the backyard done right there. Now for the front bed, I'm basically leaving the exact same outline. I'm getting rid of all this rocks, giving me a nice edging and new mulch. I'm gonna pull out these rose bushes. They're not doing the best. You got some green coming back, but these were not taken care of in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those both out. I'm taking these small little, uh, I think they're called mops or anonymous trees, whatever they are, small ones, one, two, three, I'm planting them in the back. Um, so this is gonna be redone with big uh, golden mops. I don't know what's gonna go up here. This, for now, is gonna stay empty until I figure out what I wanna put here. Um, I wanna do, fire bushes burning bushes that's what we call burning bushes but i gotta see if i can find them i'm able to plant them in it'd be one two three maybe four one two three maybe three and then some small rutapicas all through the bottom um front bed we are just gonna clean up and just make a nice little garden bed around mulching it not doing anything else to it already got some big old green giants in there and a nice tree Right here, we're doing two half circle beds. Um, I'm gonna plant climbing rose bushes. They go all the way up the fence. They're gonna look real nice. Um, also gonna plant some annuals. Just all around the bottom of the bed. Give it a nice little color pot. That's basically the layout, guys. As you see, I got tons of cleaning up to do. So before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and blow all this stupid straw all off my yard and give me a clip some dog moving in the back. But once that's all set up, I guess we'll start in the front yard, pull on these rose bushes and Get some edging done. Let's do it. All right, guys, did a little clean up in the backyard. So before we really get started with any cleanup or anything like that, I want to spray some ground clear down. All that really does is kill the grass that I have. That's where mulch press is going to go. You can't put mulch over grass. The grass is going to grow through it. So I'm going to spray this ground clear down. The only thing that, that means is with, um, within 48 hours, I can't plant anything there. So I won't be able to actually plant anything in my backyard yet. Um, Tree-wise, even though I have them. So can stay tuned for next weekly vlog to see how that looks but for right now i'm just going to lay out this retaining wall right here um, for my stone feature to see how i'm going to mess with it a little bit see how it's going to look and then right brady all right watch out I guess that'll have to do for now. Um, obviously, it's gonna need a lot of tweaking. Coming back to it, I only left, I uh, was left over two bricks. This is not gonna be enough rock. Basically, what it's gonna be is a half circle here, and then rock filling this up, and like a potted plant, a potted plant, and a little statue where I'm standing. Um, as you see, it's kind of a little bit uneven, so I need to flatten the ground a little bit more. But that's just a rough start for that. So now I'm gonna lay out my bed along the side here with spray paint and spray some of this ground clear down. Well, it ain't the straightest, but this is a rough line just for the ground clear. <laughs> crooked ass line right here is where i lost it but sorry right, when i come back and actually edge it i can obviously make it straight so i'm gonna go ahead and get this ground clear down here and also in the front of those half circles for those climbing rose bushes um 
and then it'll be time to move to the front yard. Guys, that's the kill, uh, kill all down. So I'm gonna go ahead up here now and blow all this straw and junk out of the garden bed. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down as well. Then it's time to clear the front bed. Um, then we can start edging and mulching. So let's do it. All right, guys. I want to show you guys something real quick. Um, this is kind of upsetting. Um, that the city came and did to my lawn. So obviously I have the end unit, right? So I have these boxes up in here, but my yard used to be, you know, nice. I put some grassy down, it's not taking the best, but look at all the rock, all the rock. I try to get as much as, a, of a, as it up as I could. All the dirt and all the straw, man. It's a goddamn mess. Like it blows up all into everything, all in my yard. Like, look at my yard, it's disgusting. Like, I didn't put down the straw. I didn't want straw, because look how much of a mess it is. It takes forever to clean up. So, it is what it is. I cleaned the beds. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start edging this front bed and get some mulch down it. Yeah, I'll edge the front bed. Then I'll edge the other front bed and pull all the stuff up out of it. This ground clear is supposed to take effect um, 15, you'll we'll see results in 15 minutes but I don't know how the hell it works. So I put it down and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not planning for another two days anyways in the spots. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start edging the front bed. And just like that, that's the first garden bed done. Look how much better that looks. Like it looks so good. I'm very happy with it. I mean, yeah, very happy with it. I had this little guy, gave him some life. I don't know if he'll come up or not, but I left him. But I mean, look at that. It already looks so much better. A little area is doing a little touch up and I will touch him up, but I still have another seven beds to do. Look how good that looks, man. Sheesh, 10 out of 10 approve. You see like right there needs to touch up, there needs to touch up, but I'm gonna hit it. So that's bed number one done. We have the front now around the porch, rows, uh, circle, row, circle, and the two in the back. This is definitely the hardest one so far. This was terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rose bushes now, and then get to the front, dig up those rose bushes. I'm gonna leave the little bushes in for now, just because I had the ground clear in the back, I don't have the bushes to even replace them. So I'm gonna leave them, put the mulch in, and then I'll dig them up um, in about two days and put the new bushes in, get the ones in the back, and be good to go. But yeah, we're very happy with that. It looks real good. So that's bed number one done. Let's go ahead and continue moving. So the results in uh, 15 minutes, yeah, that's complete BS. Um, <laughs> the grass is greener than ever. Um, but I sprayed it about three hours ago and nothing has changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the mulch down on these two half circles here. And then we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. And it'll be a day. Um, over here is where we're planting our bulbs. I might as well go ahead and show you them now. What they're gonna be, like I said, they're gonna be stillbees. Cute little guys. Here are they. The stillbees, you got pink ones. They look just like this. Two pink ones. This is the root of pe uh, I was talking about in the front. You got red of still bees right here, um, and then purple still bees right there. So that's what we're planting all on the side. They love full shade, and that's what's gonna be is full shade. So those are gonna be put down, and hopefully a week's time they'll be coming up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me putting down the mulch in the front.
And just like that, those are those two done. Like I said, so what's gonna go here is a climbing rose bush. You plant it right here and it'll climb up real big and beautiful and I'll plant little annuals. Just throw them down right through here and right through there. It's gonna be a nice little colorful area right against the fence. So now, I guess we'll go ahead and do the front. First, I'm gonna do a little before and after before. And boom, just like that, that's your front garden bed done. Um, it actually came out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I mean, with that bush gone, you can see how pretty my front porch looks now. Um, and I love the little decor. Like, yeah, it's all beaten old and banged up a little bit, but it looks so good. These little bushes actually look pretty good up here. Um, I still might go look at other bushes out of nursery, see how they look in here, but that's that done right there. All these little things in here. Obviously, it's windy as ever. The camera's falling down so many times. Um, it's just leaves blowing in. I'll obviously clean it up a little bit later, but that's the front bed done. I think it looks pretty clean really clean let's get a backup shot of the whole house so far look at all the damn bags <laughs> you gotta take them out later that's the front of the house done right there that's popping that's eye popping right there once those rose bushes are in mm, looks real good guys i also went ahead and planted the root of root of picas root of bicas whatever they are in here as well um now i might have messed up now they have planted two bulbs in one spot and just dirt in the other spot but it felt like it was a bulb there i don't really know what it is so it's definitely that was right in the front it's definitely two over there um over here there might be two in one spot and one in the other that's okay i can always come back and replant them the bulbs are easy to plant but that's that in there look at that look how cute that looks got a windmill going again it was so beat up it wasn't even going she's going got her lights back in got her little light to go on the porch right there we'll get these rocks to the back and then we'll go ahead and start the side bed all right guys the wind is actually so bad that every time i try to set up my tripod that's how it ends up so um like i said i'm gonna do this bed here first against in the shade of planting the astilbees into it when i'm actually planting the astilbees i will turn the camera on and actually speak to you guys about it um how the whole bulb process works but for the most part all i'm doing is doing the same trench all throughout here and then pulling it out putting the mulch uh putting the bulbs in and mulching over top of it so that's all i'm doing it's something special um as you see we got some weeds growing in the back here i am gonna just plant right over when they come up i'm just gonna spray them with some weed kill easiest way to do it um don't worry about pulling them up my hands black 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 um but i'm trying to finish this it's 11 30 now i started at seven i want to try to be done with this bed and our stone feature and this getting laid out by 12 30 so another hour because i only got about what a couple more bags of mulch we got one two three four five six seven eight i'm thinking one two three four five six if we're lucky six and that leaves one bag for this whole thing. So I'm eventually gonna have to get more mulch. That's okay though. Um, this is not ready anywhere near ready anyways. And I'm gonna have to go get more stone for the stone feature. Look at the wind, man. It's tearing everything up back here. But um, I'm gonna put these stones in here soon. Um, I, have all, I have to kill all in there. I'm gonna have to get more stones. I threw all this other rock in there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so with the stones in there, do that, do this. Gonna end up having to go get more mulch. But that'll be that. It'll be a good time. My hands hurt how dry they are. It's been a long day. It's been a long week, guys. So I'm looking forward to this. And it's fun. I just wish it was so windy. But this way she goes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. See y'all when I put the bulbs in. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and start the bulbs. Um, the still bees. What I'm thinking, we're going to do a pink. What color is this? A pink, a purple, a pink, and a red, and a purple, and a pink, and a red. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one in here, then I'm gonna show you how to do it right here because it's a better angle right there. That's what we're doing. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how really easy this is. All you gotta do, pick where you wanna place it. I'm going about right here. Get your shovel in the ground, pretty deep. Push it up, just like this. Go ahead and throw your ball. Tuck it all down in there. Right, tuck it in. Get some bone meal. You don't have to use bone meal, but I am. Little, give it a little bit of love and all you got to do stomp it back down easy 
bulbs in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest in. For anybody that plants, plants their own bulbs and I did that completely wrong, let me know how to do it in the comments down below. Let's get some mulch on here. And boom, just like that, it's done. Looks real good. Um, I think I'm gonna extend the bed just over there because it looks a little silly with it sticking out, but that's okay for now. Um, I'm very happy how this turned out. Um, like I said, these little weeds and all, I'm gonna spray them down, but your still bees will come up one, two, three, four, five, and then two there, and then one there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pour these rocks in here now. I'm out of mulch, so this is gonna have to wait for Thursday. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on some strong man gardening. Um, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, drop a subscribe. It definitely was different, but I showed you how to put in a nice edge on your beds. I mean, look at the edge. That's real nice. Um, showed you how to put a nice edge down. Also how to plant your bulbs. And yeah, I was gonna plant, replant trees. All you gotta do is dig it out, give yourself like your Imagine you just pull something out of a pot, right? You want to leave that shape, enough mud and root around the bottom of the plant, and you replant it over here. But that's all, guys. Go ahead and put the stones in. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. If you want to see a different strong man does so and so, let me know. I'm enjoying this kind of series. Um, where the strong man does meat, barbecuing, and how does a strong man garden? If you want to think, how does a strong man climb a tree? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Drop a like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Deuces.